this is um, our third morning of waking up on the boat. Yeah. Yes, third. Um, so we've we've sort of brought all the stuff on board. We've been sorting it out and whatnot. And today is the big day. We're setting off on our journey today. Um, and obviously I will be doing films of it and things. But I thought I'd just put a little bit together on um, how we've been um, settling in and, and going on so far um, and then I'm hoping it'll depend on the um, Wi-Fi signal um, but I'm hoping to be able to upload daily vlogs after today of our journeys as we make our way from Braunston up to the Stainford and Kidby Canal. So this was the last sight of the house as we were leaving. Um, somebody else will be moving in which that's great. This is what we were leaving behind. This is the second skip we'd had and numerous trips to the uh, recycling centres and stuff. And this is what we were hoping to fit on the boat, but uh, more of that later. We'll see if it fits or not. So this is the, uh, the end of a very long day. Um, we started this morning, got off by half past six, had to pack everything in the house up. Uh, stick it in a van, go and take the keys to the house into the estate agent um, and then we, we set off for Braunston uh, but on the way uh, constant um, communication with the solicitor phoning up and, and seeing what was happening uh, we needed the money to go through from the house obviously to, uh, to be able to pay the balance on the boat um, and at half past one it, it still hadn't happened um, and to make a, a same day payment to anybody you've got to have that done by two o'clock or it's not guaranteed to go through that day um, the payment to us went into our bank at two o'clock so by the time we got to the bank in rugby to be able to transfer the money to Bronston uh, it was 25 past three uh, and basically there was there was no chance that that could happen so we did the transfer anyway uh, but they said there's no way that that can go until um, tomorrow morning so we're stuck in a van three large adults stuck in a van um, squashed into the front seat uh, we've got a dog and four cats in the back of the van um, and nowhere to go basically so what we did is we came to the marina at Braunston we went into the office and we explained to them that we had transferred the money uh, we showed them the transfer slip and said you know it, it will go in in the morning um, it, the transfer has already been sort of activated it's just there wasn't enough time for it to, to process and we have nowhere else to go tonight so we couldn't even check into somewhere because they wouldn't take all the animals, obviously. So Paul and Graham at Braunston, Tim's on holiday, but Paul and Graham were brilliant. And they said, yeah, OK, that's fine. Um, we'll we'll get somebody to come and, and show you the boat, do the handover and all that. It was nearly time for them to close. It was sort of 20 to 5. Um, and they close at five uh, so somebody came showed us all the controls and everything we're still actually on the mooring where all the um, the sailboats are the four sail boats um, because there wasn't time to to move anywhere else or whatever but we're not wanting to go anywhere till about Wednesday anyway so it's fine um, but you know they didn't have to do that and uh, and they did so we're really grateful and that's that's brilliant so we've been out we've had a meal at the pub we've come back and we're just chilling out and it's now it's it's feeling real and we can relax and, and chill a bit so it's been a very long day we're gonna just have a glass of wine and have an early night i think so uh, i'm sure you know we'll um show you a lot more of the boat and a lot more of the goings on around Braunston tomorrow and then as I say we're hoping to set off on the journey home on Wednesday. 
So when we first got to Bronston, the uh, the boat was still on the workshop bit. Uh, so that's why we stayed for the first night. Uh, this was us coming on board. This is Megan getting getting very settled. Um, before we did much, though, we, we took her for a walk down the towpath. So there's the iconic picture of the uh, spire there. And just mm. walking down. Um, she's settled in really well. She's she's loving it, and obviously she loves getting all the walks up and down the the towpath and meeting all the other doggies and and what have you. Um, so I don't think she's going to be any problem at all. Um, the cats, the cats are fine. They've settled in, um, but we haven't let them out yet. Not until we get back to our home mooring. Um, she did have a little bit of difficulty when we first got there wondering how she was going to get on and off the boat um we are going to the chandlers to to buy a um a gangplank um mainly for megan really but also for you know if we need it when we can't get close in or whatnot but that was her first day she's now jumping on and off and she's she's not too bad she doesn't need lifting on and off anymore so she's she's getting settled so as i say the the first night um, because it was quite late um, and the office was about to shut, they just sort of did a quick handover, showed us what was what, but didn't move the boat. Uh, so we stayed there on the first night, which was Monday. Um, hadn't got everything settled, hadn't got all the stuff in the boat or, or what have you. So instead of trying to cook on the boat or whatever, uh, we went out for tea. You've got to, haven't you? Well, that's the um, boathouse, I think it's called. Uh, and then in the evening, we just sat watching the moon and, and what have you. And obviously, the, the choice of breakfast the next morning was quite an easy one. We went to the Gongoozler's Rest, so that was lovely. So basically, we've just spent a um, couple of days sorting out trying to get the stuff on the boat well it's all on the boat um but we just need to sort of store it away some will remain in boxes until we get back to our home mooring because we've got to buy some um drawers and things furnishings and and whatnot but we are settling in nicely and today we're setting off so thanks for watching and hope to see you out on the cut maybe sometime over the next couple of weeks